What's up, Packet people? So I have an exciting new announcement about an Nmap course, but I'm not gonna tell you about it just by myself. I've invited David Bombal here on this video, and we're gonna tell you a little bit about it. So stick around. Hey everyone, David Bombal, really excited about this course. Chris Greer has put together a Nmap course. Chris, tell us about this new course that you've created. All right, everybody. So I'm really excited about this course. For me, I just love cybersecurity and I like to be a pen testing nerd. So this is one of the tools that's definitely in my toolbox. I know it is in yours as well. If you're going for a cybersecurity certification, any of them, name it, uh, Security Plus, CISA, if you're going for CEH, if you're going for any cybersecurity certification, it's going to be absolutely one that you need to know. But not just that. How about day to day? How about practical? Nmap is going to be in your toolbox. It's one that you need to know cold. Now, for me, if you're starting out with Nmap, it can be a bit overwhelming. It's a lot of switches, uh, dash this, dash that. How do you remember all of that? And even worse, when you take a look at the output of Nmap, how do you understand it? I mean, what's the difference between an open port, a filtered port, a closed port, an open then filtered? Or what's some of this output when it comes to enumerating an operating system? What's an Nmap script, the NSC engine? Huh, there's a lot to learn. So that's what this course is specifically designed to do, to go from a newbie to someone that is comfortable and able to use Nmap for either pen testing or blue teaming, hardening our systems, or whatever else we need to do in the cybersecurity industry. Chris, that's fantastic. And I don't think there's anyone better to teach this than you. But a lot of people are gonna be asking the question, how is your course different and why is it better than say all the other courses out there? All right, that's a great question as well, David. I'm glad you asked it because you're right. There is a lot of other Nmap content out there. This is why it's different. With every single test I teach you to run and all the labs that you're gonna be doing, by the way, there's a lot of hands-on labs and practice. So it's not just a talking head thing. But with everything you're going to learn how to run, we're also going to be opening up my other favorite tool, Wireshark. We're going to be opening up Wireshark, running an Nmap scan, and then learning how it works on the wire. There's a few reasons for that. First, what's actually generated when we run an Nmap scan? How do we interpret the results? What's actually coming back and causing the results that we see on that screen. It helps us with remembering the scans, knowing when, how, and why to use each type of scan, and also to better understand if we're on a blue team or a defensive perspective, how to find these scans. David, what if someone's on my network running these Nmap scans against me? How can I spot them quickly with Wireshark? That's something that you'll also learn and also what makes this course unique against all the other ones. And Christy, there was a great example you were telling me offline. Um, I think it's got to do with ping or something? Yeah, there's a scan that's called the Nmap ping scan. You know, it was interesting. David, let's ask it this way. If I'm going to run an Nmap ping scan against you, what's the first problem? protocol that comes to your mind. Ping and then probably ICMP. Exactly. That's what we would think. Oh, I'm just going to ping a subnet. I'm going to throw a bunch of ICMP out there on the network. But you know, natively, if you just run an Nmap ping scan, you don't send ICMP. Oh, wow. Okay. Interesting, right? So that's one of the things we're going to learn. Like what actually do we put out on the wire? How can I run a ping scan that uses ICMP? So those are things we want to know. What does that test do beyond just the name or an output that I see on a screen? That's why we're going to capture it with Wireshark and go deep into the packets. I think this is really important for everyone to realize. Chris has been using Wireshark for many, many years, not as a trainer, but in production. So he doesn't just teach. He does production troubleshooting, helps companies with attacks, helps companies with finding problems on their networks using Wireshark. And Chris, we've been talking about this course for a long time. And you've always said the problem with a lot of other courses or a problem with a lot of stuff that's being taught is people are taught to use the GUI or the interface or the commands, but they don't actually understand what's going on on the wire, right? Yes, that's very true. And, and both a, a product like Wireshark as well as Nmap, it's like, great, there's a lot of data here, but what do I do with it? And that's what this course is gonna teach you to do. So rather than just running an Nmap scan and like, okay, I've run a scan and it gives me some results, you're going onto the wire and actually looking at what's happening. Yes, exactly. And then how to take action with those results. What do they mean? What do we do with them? Right? So uh, that's also an important part of learning how to use a tool. So it's not just what it does, but how to use it to actively do something. And that's what's different about this course as well. My opinion is this is the best course that you can buy on Nmap 
not just not because I created it, but because Chris created it. And Chris and I have had a long discussion and I eventually managed to convince him to do it because I think he's the best person alive that can show you how to capture packets on a wire, show you how Nmap actually works, not just from like typing a command, but actually looking at what's going on. Chris has this amazing ability to take these complex protocols, complex switches and stuff and make it very, very simple. What I love about what Chris does is he is a technical person. And I always say this, there's a very small minority of people out there that are very, very technical, but can also explain stuff simply. That's a really hard combination to find. And Chris is one of those people that has a unique gift to take really complex information and make it very easy to understand. I mean, Wireshark for a lot of people is really complicated, but you're not just gonna learn Nmap, you're gonna learn Wireshark, you're gonna learn a whole bunch more. And Chris, I don't wanna say too much about the course. You can give us some more reasons, perhaps why this course is the best course to buy. So yeah, so why take an Nmap course and get confused and bored? That's that's not what we're gonna do. We're, we're gonna get hands-on. We're gonna actually learn how to run these tests, but we're going to capture it with Wireshark. And that's going to help us to understand what we're putting out there on the wire. So that's what's different about this course. So not sure what you're waiting for, everybody. Let's go ahead and get out and map, capture it with Wireshark. Let's go. Let's dig.